So I've just done my bubble and squeak for Boxing Day, which is a tradition in our house to have any of the meats that are left and any of the um, greens, the even the carrots go in. There's a bit of everything in there. So I'm just frying it off on the bottom. And then I will, you know, turn it a few times pop it on a high heat, turn it a few times, and then I'll stick it in the oven to brown off on top. Um, we didn't have barely any turkey left this year, which is a first, so we're all set up. There's just the six of us today, thank goodness. So, though it was lovely to have everybody here yesterday, um, it was very noisy, and so, um, I can cope with one one day of that, but uh, it's always nice to have the second day a bit more peaceful. So there's just the six of us today, just me, myself, Mark, and the three children, grown-up children. So we've got lots of ham left, and that's all the turkey we have left. So there'll be no turkey pie this year. <laughs> so it obviously went down very well. The cheese, in, the bit of cheese to go on here later. And we had some crackers left and we've got the pickles and the beetroot out because the boys love that. Some sauce and look what's come out. The smell, it's lovely. Just love hyacinths. They smell beautiful. but They're a bit overpowering for the living room and that's where they have been. So I've popped them in here. Um, the Christmas cake was... A big hit. So Alistair's got his and has gone away with his and a big chunk out of ours. And even I had a bit, which was naughty, but I just had to taste. Bilbo's toys everywhere. Who's this? Who's this toy? You get it and show them. What, what did you get? You show your toy. Show them then. What is it? Come here. We were laughing actually on Christmas Day because when he squeaks... He sounds like a trump. Can you hear? <laughs> that was just one of many toys. He had a big sprout, didn't you? What else did you have? A gingerbread man as well. Where's your gingerbread man? Excuse the washing. I have done some washing today and it's on the radiators. <laughs> Got a sprout, didn't you? And he got a gingerbread man somewhere. So the boys will come in soon and we'll sit down and enjoy this. This is my favourite meal. It is first day the 28th today and I just thought I'd come on and have a quick chat with you. I've just put a few things together for the time over uh, Christmas. Uh, just a little uh, snippet of Christmas Day and Boxing Day. It's difficult isn't it? It was so difficult to pick up the camera when you're so busy. All you're thinking about is how much longer the potatoes have got left and how much longer this has got left and then you forget to pick up the camera. You forget to pe get pictures of the day um, and so you just rely on others but then they're too busy having fun so there's just a few bits together. And um, So I thought I'd come on and just say I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you're going on to have a lovely new year however you're spending it. We were going to go away in our um, touring caravan but we left it a little bit too late so we're probably not going to do that now. And although it's very cosy once you get there to your destination and you get set up, it's quite tiring actually getting the caravan home onto the drive to load it up, get your clean sheets on and get it all lovely and aired because it's been sat for a little while over the winter. Um, so for a couple of days it really didn't seem worth it. So we are either going to go to the cinema to watch Wonka 
or we thought we might pop out to Marks and Spencer's sometime any day now um, to get maybe one of their meals for two um, and make it a, a special meal and then sit down and just watch a movie and probably be in bed before 12 like we are most New Year's. Um, so I didn't want to just put snippets on and not come on, not on and say hello and I'm still receiving some lovely comments from you all via, via YouTube and also via my Instagram so thank you all that's so very kind. Bilbo is sat here on his chair in his usual position because everybody's gone home and it's a really quiet day. It's been pouring with rain outside today and at one o'clock you would have thought it was late at night, it was so dark. And then I sat down to decide to talk to you all and the sun come out. So I've had to close the blinds now. <laughs> um, I got some lovely presents, some lovely perfume, um, some crafty bits and bobs, some nice um, toiletries, some socks, some money. Um, but one of the things I did get is, you'd have seen, I've just taken a clip, is um, this lovely embroidery. It's my first time embroidering so I'm learning along the way. And this was from Pretty Fabrics and Trims. I'll link, link them down below. And I can't believe that I've been following them for well over a year now. And um, my son bought me this and obviously it had their address on it and I couldn't believe that they were five minutes up the road. So that was a bit of a shock, a nice shock. <laughs> um, so yes. So I've got that to do and I'm really enjoying that. It's so therapeutic isn't it to just sit and bimble away but you do need lots of light for that one. And I am on my pattern on the lace of my shawl finally. So this is a Helen Stewart pattern and with her pa um, patterns that she lets you know how far you've got through the pattern and I'm on about 60% now so I'm nearly there. So this friend will have it for the new year for sure. There we go. And you can probably see the pattern. I've just started. So finally, it's just been some uh, lovely days to just get back to normal and get knitting and get crafting again. Um, I think that was it. I'm just. I've just, so I've just sat down, I'm going to do some more of the shawl and then maybe see what the light's like to have a little go on the embroidery. And I'm just catching up with Vera because I love to watch that and there's a, a Christmas edition on so I'm just watching that. We have got a pasta bake for tea tonight with some garlic bread. I think all the chocolates are gone. I hope they are because I keep picking on them and I shouldn't be eating them so I will be very glad when everything's just gone and I, I keep passing things on to everybody else so that I'm not tempted to eat them. I could eat them but it, it's not worth it. I would have a, such a bully tummy um, with the, my acid reflux. It's just, it's not worth the uncomfortableness that follows. <laughs> so I will see you in the new year and hopefully I'll have a little bit more craftiness to share with you. Once again, thank you for all your likes and subscribes. And um, if you can like, that would be wonderful because apparently it gets my page, um, my channel seen to other viewers. So um, it would be nice to sh share a bit of me with, with others out there. Otherwise it's quite difficult to be seen. So if you could do that and subscribe, that would be wonderful. I will all see you soon. Have a lovely new year and um, don't be too naughty. Lots of love. What makes you so certain he's our mark? Because his son is currently missing. Now listen, there's a CID briefing first thing. I'll make sure you're cleared to attend it.
Thank you.